us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We give you glory, O oh Lord, as we worship you, because you are great and wonderful. You are a mighty God. You are an excellent God. You are a compassionate sa sa Savior. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. We say hallelujah to your holy name. As we have come today, Father, we want to thank you for who you are and for what you are doing in our lives. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of life. Amen. We, are here be we are here because of your grace. It's not by our might, but because of your grace. We thank you, Lord, for keeping us safe. We thank you, Lord, for making it possible for us to come this morning to worship you. We do not take this for granted. Some people are willing to come, but they cannot because of one reason or another. Whatever is holding them, Father, we pray that you remove it from their life so that one day they will come and give glory to your holy name. Amen. Father, we thank you because you are a great God. You are a marvelous God. You are a God that blesses his people. Father, bless us and forgive us our sins in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We know we have erred. We know we have sinned. Our sins are many, but you said if we, if we confessed, you are willing to forgive us and bring back us to your love. Father, do so for us in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. We know we have wronged you in so many ways, but today we want to make it right with you. Forgive us our sins in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who trespass against us also in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We have come today in your presence. We are in your throne of grace. Father, let all the blessings be unto your people today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We have gone wrong in our separate ways. We have done wrong to you. We have rebelled. But today we are coming to confess our sins that you should take us back and cause us not to go back to those sins again in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. As your people are gathered here today, they want to hear from you. Speak to them through your servant that you used to be. Amen. Let everyone that is here today be blessed by the time we leave this auditorium in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Because even your word said, cast your burden upon me and I'll make them light for you. Make it light for us today in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Meet us at our points of need in the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. As our faces are many, so are our wants different, Father. Each and every one will have one issue and another, Father. Meet us at that point in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Bless every one of your children today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Give them the zeal to work for you, the commitment to work for you, things that concern you, Father, Make it, let us make it our priority in our lives in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Father, we have gone astray. Bring us back to your fall in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. You are a great and mighty God. Thank you are a God that forgives sins. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for forgiving our sins in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Bless, bless us all. Bless the work of our hand and move us as a church forward in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The spirit of stagnancy, any spirit of delay, we remove it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We cast and bind every forces of darkness that says this service will not hold today, for it is your work. We will, it, it, you will build your church here in Christian liberty, and the gates of hell shall not prevail in the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. Father, we thank you because you are a good God. Yes, you are a compassionate God. You are if God that answers prayer, answer our prayers in the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. Cause us to be obedient children in the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Father, we know we are not faithful, but you are faithful. Yes, Father, receive us into your fold and teach us your will. May your will be done in our lives. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Let's be seated. Let's go. 
somebody you are welcome this morning in the name of Jesus. Shake hands with somebody say you are welcome to the house of your father. Hallelujah. You are welcome this morning to the house of your father, the house of God. This is your morning of joy. This is your morning of joy. What a father. What a friend. What a God, what a Father that He is to us. Praise the Lord. Father, we worship you this morning. Well, thank you because you are Father indeed. There is no Father like you. There is no God like you. 
There is none like you, Lord. You are faithful. You are kind. You are wonderful. You are the Lord. You change it not. Heaven and earth will pass away. Your word, your will, your kindness we never. Father, we worship you this morning. We thank you for your faithfulness. Yes. We well, thank you for your mercy. Yes. We thank you for your love, Daddy. We ask that your name be praised this morning in the name of Jesus. Amen. We ask that your name be lifted, O oh God, this morning in the name of Jesus. Amen. We call upon you, Lord, today that you will visit us in this meeting. As we come before you, to worship, to hear from you. Father, let us hear from you alone. We pray that every voice of men, every voice of evil spirit, familiar spirit, or wandering thought, ascend mindedness, be arrested in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let God speak to his people today in the name of Jesus. Amen. And let him alone speak to us. Amen. Address our issues, address our concern, Address, O oh God, that part of us that we have no solution to. Bring hope to the hopeless. Bring peace to our soul. Father, let us not go back home the same way we came today. Let us go with assurance. Let us go with a word. A word that will change our life. A word for me, a word for you, a word for our children, a word for our grandchildren. A word for our world, a word for our church, a word for the body of Christ. That is what we pray for God. Do this and let your name be glorified. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We are going to talk about a topic that I titled God is Jesus is in God solving our problem, meaning God is in Christ solving our problems to give us peace, joy. That meaning whatever we are faced with, He is able to do all things, to heal, to save, to deliver from any forms of wickedness of the devil. Praise the Lord. Amen. Is our God faithful? Yes. Our God is faithful and is just. He's able to do all things. Everything that we commit to his hand. He said, call upon me in the days of trouble. I will surely deliver thee. I will deliver you. I will heal. I will save. Praise the Lord. Amen. Our study of today, we unveil a lot of stuff about who Jesus, who God is in him solving our problem. Our people believe that Jesus, so say that Jesus is not a problem solver. Amen. Amen. I was listening to somebody message a cop, you know, we're online today. Say Jesus, don't go about telling people Jesus is a problem solver. He's not a problem solver. But when he gives you life that helps you to deal with your problem. And um, anyway, I don't like to mention people's name or talk about people what they say online. But I would like to talk about the Jesus. But when the people come or talk about Jesus, then it's a consign. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. They have been going back and forth in the body of Christ, saying this and saying that. The other one will say, this is new, this is old. But God never changed. It was an incomplete statement that I see from YouTube. Everybody, maybe you guys have seen it from Abel Dominion, saying that don't go out and tell people Jesus solve your problem. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is, uh, Jesus is a prophet. Jesus is a problem solver. But Jesus, I know, is a problem solver. And why? Because he said, I and my father are one. If we believe that Jesus 
and God is one. If you say Jesus is not a problem solver, in the in respect, in, well, no matter how you twist it, you are still referring to God. Amen. There is no problem bigger than God. And there's no problem God cannot solve. The first step you take is to understand. When we go out to evangelize, as the man said, we should not go evangelize it, is with understanding. Let the world complete it so that everybody understands what you are talking about. Not to just to say, oh, you just put something out there to get a follower or to get a new dimension. No, this is a new way of, th of thinking. Oh, what they have been telling you is wrong. Now I have a new way of thinking. That is how people have been pushing. But look into the scripture and see what the scriptures say about what you are talking about. Amen. When we go, or when I go to preach, I preach, I tell people, come to Jesus. Because the same preaching that John preached, we, are, we have all accepted John the Baptist as a who? As the forerunner of Jesus. Amen? Amen? Who sent John the Baptist? God. To do what? To talk about Jesus. Which is our message about the kingdom is at hand. But look at the first time that John the Baptist and his disciples and his people that he was baptizing saw Jesus. Amen. It said, Behold the Lamb that taketh away the sin of the whole world. Underline. The whole. Underline. That taketh out the sin of the whole world. And now we will evaluate what is sin. Let's go to the scripture. Genesis chapter 3. In Genesis chapter 3 verse 9. We have to go to, go to the beginning and unfold these things and see. So that if you have watched that clip and say, oh yeah, you something makes you to, okay, oh now this is a new way. Oh yeah, it's right. It's not about who is right or who is wrong. It's about what is your God saying. It's about what did Jesus say. Praise the Lord. Amen. Never believe any man. Because the person can get this one right and get another message. When you go to dig people's message, maybe hundreds of messages, you must see the one they further or the one that is not clear enough and you pant on it. That is not who we are made to be a Christian. We have to pray for each other and make the thing understand so that the one that says, oh, I view it in this direction. Oh, I was looking at this in this way. Okay, this is the holistic. We should look at holistic. Amen. Amen. This is the view. What did he say? He said, no, I, verse 19, please. 319. Sorry, 319. By the sweat of your face. By the sweat of your face. You shall eat bread. You shall eat bread. Till you return to the ground. Till you return to the ground. For out of it you were taken. For out of it you were taken. Praise the Lord. Meaning, you come from the doors, you go to the doors. We know when we come here, we'll be talking about Genesis. It is where man sin. Amen. Disobedient come. And that is why the cost of sin come. That's the this where God was addressing the sin. Where man lost their uh, the, the kingdom, the, the Eden, Garden of Eden, lost their rights to the devil. Sin come. Hardship come. That sin, that sin, bring hardship. It was not so from the beginning. It was not so from the beginning. Let's understand that. Sickness we face today. Problem we say we, we face today. Um, political issues. Because it was saying that when you go, don't tell people that God will solve all your problems. All problems is wrapped in the sin. All problem is wrapped in sin. The first step as a man is food. He said, you will eat that bread. You will not labor to eat. Either you are eating from the trees or whatever, the, um, as interpretation of every version. He said, the food, you will labor to eat. And this, all this thing will happen. First of all, death will come. In dust I made you, dust you will go. That was what God was addressing only to Adam and Eve. 
As at this time, Eve has not been named. Adam has not named Eve. Go to the next verse. In sweat. What is sweat? Hardship, difficulties, problem. When you talk about Bill, oh, it is inside all this. You talk about stress, it's inside all this. Whatever, confusion, fighting from where to one another. All this the best 20, please. Amen. Amen. The man called his wife name Eve. The man called his wife name Eve. Amen. Because Sorry. she was the mother of all living. The mother of all living. So you know where we are now. Praise God. We we'll stop there. We know where we are now. But because no time so that we can pray about this. What is going on in the world? Information. Please go to the scripture and make yourself up. Don't believe in do this man say, this brother say, this pastor say, I say, you say. But what is the your God, your father? What did he say? Amen. What is he talking about? What is the scripture saying? Hallelujah. John chapter 6, 16, verse 33. Jesus was saying, be of good cheer, or in another version, he said, let's, let's see the scripture. I will go gently so that we look the scripture and everybody look the scripture. Because people are misled when they fail to turn to the scripture and read it by themselves and see it how it is. And somebody can run through it and say, this is this is now, this is now, you follow. No, follow the scripture and you, you will see. Amen. We are not dealing in the facts about this. God solving problem through Jesus. We are dealing, we are not talking about sin. God will solve the problem of sin. Hallelujah. Sin is the first thing that brings bring suffering. And when we talk about problem, it's sin that brought them. So if I come to say, brother, sister, give your life to Christ. Amen. So they can solve your problem. Amen. Of truth, I'm not saying that when you come to Jesus, you will not have any issue at all. We, we, you, we, let's, let's see how the, that scripture says, put it so that it will be what Jesus said. He said, but you have... Oh. Where? I said um, 1633. 1633. John? Uh, yeah, John 1633. For the bread of God is who comes down? 1633. Oh, 1633. Amen. I have told you. These or, things I have spoken to you. Okay. That in me you may have peace. So stop, stop, stop there. He said, These things I have spoken to you. He's talking to the disciples now, talking to them gathering. These things I've told you, I've spoken to you, I've told you that in me, you will have peace. What is the opposite of peace? Trouble. Problem. In me, in Jesus, you will have peace. So if I come and tell you, come to Jesus so that you have peace, I'm not out of track. Amen. I'm not out of track. Uh, no, you are born again. You have never known about Jesus. I want you to come and accept him. How we come and say, come to Jesus so that you will have peace. Come to Jesus so that he will help you. Why? Because when there was a problem in the marriage, the mother said, go to him. Whatever he told you, do it. Was there a solution? Yes. What do you call that? Solution solver. When you see the ten lepers that comes to him, he addresses, go and meet the priest. And they were healed. Is that a solution? Yes. That is a solution, right? When we look at Peter, Peter was a man in pain. Peter was a man in trouble at home and currently in trouble in business. They were toiling all day and night, no fish. And at home, the mother in law is critically sick, dying of a sickness that is, that is uncurable by any means. And this man come to work. Do you know how you come to work when you have issue at home? Problem. It, the wife is complaining about finance, food to eat, and the wife is complaining about the mother and mother-in-law. He was a man of strength. Amen. It was not like um, it's, it, 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 like say it's, um was like um Paul wear red, no, or in the establishment, no. Or, or Matthew, that is a task for that had earned money. No. They have to fish from one coast to another and nothing. 
But when he met Jesus, when he met Jesus, that aspect of his life, Pedigami, what happened to him? First of all, he got caught fish. And after the caught fish, he said, wow, economy. He touched their economic life. Mm -hmm. He saw the economic issue. And he says, he followed him home. And when he got home, he healed the mother-in-law. Is that a problem solver? Yeah. Anywhere he went, he was doing good. Almighty healer. Who healed the layman, the, the lepers? When the people saw him, they started wondering, what manner of man is this? That is who you and I are following. That is who we are telling the world about. Amen. Amen. We are telling them, come to Jesus, not to me. Hallelujah. Amen. Come to him. He will meet you at the points of your needs. Let me tell you, we tell them that God will go tell them God will meet them at the point of their needs. Amen. Amen. When they come, teach them to understand that not all that they come for is not about their will, is the will of the Father. Even Jesus said, Not my, he said, not that will. Uh, my will is that we have car. My will is that we do this. And we will do this. But when we pray, hallelujah. Somebody say, when I pray. When you pray, say, God, let that will be done. Because if it is let alone for our will, our will can kill us. Our will can, can destroy us. Amen. Amen. We simply get men that rose to power, hell, rose to power, and begin to claim that he's God. What happened to him? The will, that thing killed him. He was eaten by some worm. Yeah, that's how he ends. Oh, Jezebel. Rest of all that he can challenge all the prophets. To the extent that Elijah was running away from her. She died horribly. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Amen. What am I talking about? I'm talking about if you have everything. But it is about the will of God. So when we now get born again, you are, we are still calling them to come and submit to God's will. And God willing, it will bless you, it will bless you. God willing that you have a laundry of 10,000 lists of problems. He will want to uh, erase, mark, and mark all of them. He will. As God will. But not that God is not willing. Praise God. Hallelujah. I wish you in all things that thou may prosper. Even as I am so prospering. I wish you in all things. I wish you in all things. That I'm, I'm being good at health. But above all, what you will understand that this calling is to call is a call of salvation. A call of salvation is not a call of dollar. It's not a call of, of money or your currency. It's not a call of to eat um, four square meal, three square meal, have a house, have this. That is not it. Because they are prioritize it as that. That's why they speak like that. Don't tell them that, oh, I will not tell them that Jesus hid their problem. Because now we have viewed a call of salvation as a call of, 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 of a free house, good house, good living, fat tummy. That is not it. Maybe that, with that concept, he's right. But with the concept of Jesus, when he called them, when all of them were going, they were walking anywhere they were going. They go from city to city. They were doing. Some people, some say, I've left my family. I've left my this. I've followed you. What will I have? They came to a point that they were hungry. Even Jesus was hungry. Remember the fig tree? It was that, that, is that not the problem? Yeah. Well, look at what our text he says. But, but that in, in me, you will have peace. Here on earth, Hallelujah. John 16, 33. But here on earth. Was he on earth? Yes. Why on earth? Here on earth. What will happen? You will have many trials and sorrow. You will have many trials. In another version, in, um, in a, it just, it said, you will have problem. In this place, you will have problem. Jesus acknowledged it. Our calling you to Jesus does not say we are we are we are this uh, we are we, we are saying that there will not be problem in this world. Hey, that president will still be your president. 
That your local government leader will still be your local government even though you can give your life to Christ. That house you are living, you still go back and sleep in that bed. Amen? Amen. It's, it's not a magic. Oh, I become Christ. And then, and when I go home, I'm... No. But something changed. Hallelujah. Amen. What changed? Something. Hallelujah. Something will change. He said, if a man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things have passed away. Thinking, understanding, belief, change. Positioning, life, spiritual positioning, change. That is the important thing. Because in this world, you will still be in this world and fight problems, trials, temptation, tribulation. You will get all these things. Accusers, whoa, food to eat, taking care of your, of your parents, paying school fees, all these things. These are, you are going to do all these things. You go through all this. But in all these things, Christ will be with you to cheer you, to enable you. So that Paul said, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Who is talking? A man that has learned to stay in prison. A man that listed Paris of many things. In Paris of hunger, I'm still serving Jesus. And when I was in chain, I still serve Jesus. When I was deprived of any all things of life, Paul said, I still serve him. But Paul also said, I, that God has given, met all his needs. Because he understands that his needs was not just freedom. How will a man that is in prison say God has met all his needs? And he's writing in prison. He says, God has met all my needs. All I have asked for, he has given me. I am satisfied. He's writing to people. But which means he understands that when he's at base, he said it, I am okay, I'm satisfied. When I have, I'm satisfied. When I'm full, I'm satisfied. May God give us satisfaction in Jesus' name. Amen. That is what we preach. Be satisfied in Christ. Because in this world, there is no satisfaction. Except you are in Christ. But take heart. Look at what we read. He said, but take heart. In other words, be of good cheer. Take heart, be of good cheer. For because I have overcome the world. Who has overcome the world? Jesus. Who is speaking? Jesus. Be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. So therefore, I come to you and to say, brother, sister, give your life to Christ because he has overcome the world. Amen. Amen. It's not the mental mind of saying, come to him, you have car. Come to him, you have this. Come to him, you have job. All those are, you are using them to entice you because what the mindset of these people is about filling up their church. I'm telling you, you know, people tell you, if you come to our church, you just get a job, nah, nah, nah. Okay, that is help. You can render help. But that is not Jesus' promise. That is your promising. Amen. Amen. Oh, be, come be a, be a Christian, I'll be your friend. That is you encouraging the person. Amen. But the bigger scope is more than that. The bigger thing is more than that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That used to say some people become Christian because when they die, they will see people who come to their burial. Huh? I'm telling you. Those, there's many people have their many reasons. Some people become a Christian so that when they call people, they will have all church people will come. Hallelujah. They, I mean, when they say, about from giving their life, the benefit, when they look at the benefit that comes with it. Are you hearing me? The benefit, the fringe benefit that comes with it, because of their understanding. Of course, those fringe benefits will be there. But that fringe benefit, too much of a promise, and people come, they say, ah, I'll come here now, I'm sitting, I have no, I have no, no job. Amen? Amen? That is not a spiritual understanding. Hallelujah. But remember one thing. That I have overcome the world. I have overcome the world. Jesus has overcome the world. Philippians chapter 2, verse 9 to 11. 
He said, well, for God have highly exalted him and has given him a name that is above all names. That at the mention of the name Jesus, every knee shall bow. Is your problem not a knee to a bow? Is your, your pain not a knee to a bow? All tongues will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. I don't know. If there is a spiritual battle you are involved in, who can save you? Jesus is a sober. Oh Lord. I have seen people from one occultic people, one occultic chase for another. When they come to Jesus, they are like, God, save them. Tell that man that Jesus is not a problem sober. I have some people without hope. When they come to Jesus, they become new. Tell the blind Batimo that Jesus is not a problem solver. We have many blind Batimo in our generation today. I'm not, so if someone is, oh, he's talking about the miracles of the scripture. Hallelujah. You have your testimony. Can somebody tell you that that testimony was not at art of our God, walking miracle? The best thing you know is that Christ, God is in Christ, walking miracles. When, if they are one, if the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit is one. What is impossible for them to do? If you believe. For as many that believe, to them he gave the power to become the children of God. For you being a child of God, that is a good thing. Hallelujah. And above all, let's nail it on earth. Why you will tell somebody to come to God and it will be well? Is that our awareness is not limited to this world. I, he said, Paul said, if this is our thinking, then we are to all men most miserable. If we, this is our thinking, we are to all men, all women, most miserable. I, when I say come to Jesus, I'm saying that your soul will have eternal life. When we say come to Jesus, we are saying that the order will be changed. The first order, when we read there, um, we go back to that Genesis. Amen? We saw that. But remember one thing. This scripture, if we go to Amplify, can somebody read it from Amplify? So that we bring one understanding from there, from Amplify. It says something that is very good. Um, Revelation chapter 21, verse 4, sorry, Amplify. Revelation, that is the last one before we go to prayer. Revelation, can we get Amplify there? Yeah, Revelation 21, verse 4. All of us will look at it and see where we are. Mm -hmm. Revelation. Amen. Amen. Let's go through it together. It says, and here we wipe away every tear from their eyes and there will no longer be death there will no longer be sorrow and anguish or cry or pain or former order of things has passed away for former orders of things have passed away I will break that one down I wish I can break it down for that man too Former order. The first order is where we read the book of Genesis chapter 3, verse 19. You know where the order is? The order is when Adam and Eve sin. He said, you will die. You will suffer. You will eat. You will labor. You will sweat. Suffer is sweat now. You have problems. All these things. That sin brought it. That was the first order. From there, that order is the order. Everybody born of woman will die. It's an order. Everybody, a woman that wants to give birth will, will be in, in, in pain. That is order. There is no way. Every woman being must, must eat. That is order. The order of things. The order. Live life death. See the order? It lists all of them. But remember, when Christ will come, what will, will happen? What, first, death. Sin. It will, God will hold sin and throw away sin. That will be the end. Sin will never, never be. That sin, sin, will never be. Sin will be end, will be defeated. Amen? Forever. Death will be defeated. He said, for who? When Christ will reign, when we will live in Christ, 
That's why I say, come to Jesus, and he will wipe your tears away. Come to Jesus, and he will make sure you will not, you will not die. Come to Jesus, you will not have soul. Have this understanding about his coming. Amen? Not now. I don't know whether you're understanding it. I said, not now. So our preaching is not just for now. It is for now and when Christ shall come. When you are saving a soul, a soul, a soul saved, is saved in this earth and saved eternally. You are saved two level now, in this earth and eternally. Which one is more important? Eternally. <laughs> eternally, God bless you. Eternal salvation is more important. So therefore, when Jesus said, in this world, you have problems, you have tribulation, be of good cheer, relax, be content, don't run into a scatter, be here. Like a woman, even he says, like a woman that wants to give birth to a good thing, he will travel, tarry, walk through me, and not through the suffering and hurdles of this world, keep your faith. So that when I've come, I will find you in faith. But when I've come to reign, when my kingdom will come, there will be no death anymore. So you will be there with me. There will be no sickness anymore. You will be there with me. There will be no sorrow anymore. You will be there with me. No anguish, you will be there with me. No hunger, you will be there with me. No government, no war, policy, all these things, you will reign with me. Me. That is our call. That is the understanding. Praise the Lord. God said, if you fail to understand this, there is no hope. And you are to men most miserable. If you fail to understand where you are going, this place we are always saying that is temporary. Mm -hmm. What Jesus said is this. What the Father is said. And what will happen? He said the former order. The order of life, live, die. Give it, live, struggle, die. All the order of stress and struggle, struggle, struggling, stresses will be out. A new order has come. Hallelujah. Amen. Do we understand the first order? Yes. Suffering. That is the order we are living in now. This order has not changed. This order we are living. Amen. Amen. This order. The rich also cry. This order that we are living in, money cannot buy. No matter how rich you are, you will die. Mm -hmm. yes. If God call you. No matter. If it were, if people can save like the great, the, the Alexander the Great, those people, mm -hmm. they would have preserved their life. Yeah. They have enough money the whole world can talk about to preserve. If it is by weight, Solomon would have not died. And it's just someone that tells you, say, vanity upon vanity, they are all Vanity. The soul is more important. Ah, we are tell somebody we, we are preaching for the soul. Yeah. We are preaching the soul. Tell somebody you are preaching the soul. That's why you are not preaching. Go preach for the soul. When you look at somebody, you are preaching the soul. It's not about how where the person comes from, the nationality, white or black. No. The soul. The soul is what we are trying to save. The soul is what we are trying to save. And I'm telling you, the soul, Jesus. Is the problem solver? Yeah. Even on earth, if you trust, if you believe in Him, did Jesus advertise Himself to the woman with issue of blood? Is He not the one that come by Himself mm -hmm. and believe, and He was healed? Mm -hmm. Amen. He didn't say, "Woman, I know you are issue of blood. Come, come, come." I will know. It was not. It, it was. It was not by. It was not by awareness, but she got healed. No one come to him with faith that go back the same. So why is it not a problem solver? So why will I not tell you to come to him? And he will give you peace. First of all, he will love you. First of all, he will identify with you. He will call you his own. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And what else do you want for him to do? That he laid down his life for us all. He died on the cross so that we will have life. He died. We that are the, sin, the one that sin. But the one that know no sin died. Jesus died for our sin. That God will not hold us accountable if we believe. 
His righteousness have been put upon us. We that merit it not. By grace are ye saved. Praise the Lord. Go down to come and be saved by grace. Let's come to the throne of glory where we obtain mercy to be used in time of need. In time of the need is this one. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. He said that we end. There will be no sorrow. There will be no tears. Problem will be what? That is the scripture. It's not me saying that is your father talking. That is God in Revelation. And that is the home we want to be. We are going home. We are going home. A home that no man built. Hallelujah. A home that no hand built. A home that the builder and the maker himself is who? God. Have you not remember that song? We are going to live a home that the builder and the maker himself is God. Above. When he will come in his glory. Praise the Lord. Amen. Jesus is able to do all things. He will restore the new order. The new orders of things. Glory to his name. Believe in him. Believe in him. No matter what this world is bringing, fear is first evident, appearing real. This devil give you fear. Amen. When you leave this place now, you are driving, and you, you automatically, sometimes something happens, and you see stress can come in. Hey, your, your, your tire get depleted. And now you are there stressed. Oh, what is going on now? Amen? Amen. These arrows of this world come from the, our enemy, the devil. Let's be wise to understand that. It's not God. When you understand that, you, he said, Jesus said, walk through them all. I will be with you. Low to the end of this age. May God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Shall we bow down our head as we pray? And talk to the Father. Give me the grace to live through. Amen. Give me the grace. You are the solution solver. You have hope for the hopeless. Jesus is the hope to the hopeless. He's the peace, prince of peace. He's the alpha and the omega. God is in him. Solving the problem of the world. That is our topic today. God is in Jesus. Solving the problem of the world. Title it well, please. God is in Jesus. Solving the problem of, of solving our problems. It's in Christ. Solving our problem. One in Christ is no loss. You can't lose in him. We are not a loser in Jesus. Come to him. All ye that have labored with heavy laden, for he will give you rest. He will give you rest. Perfect rest. He will give you, in other words, he will give you solution. He will solve your crisis. If you fail to come, you die, you go to hell. You will not live in a place where there's no death, where there will no be national tea. Where there will be no be, where there will be no more sorrow, where there will be no more anguish. No, you know. Accept you. If you didn't accept him on earth yet, if you didn't accept him, come to him. How? Our hope is beyond the sky. In other words, our hope is beyond what woman can see. Our hope in him, our trust in him, our belief in him, our holding in him, my going out, your going out to talk about him is beyond this realm. It's beyond this world. It's and touch and feel. It's beyond this tribulation. It's beyond this stressful world. It's beyond this government. It's beyond this nation. It's beyond these ideas. It's beyond this belief. It's beyond this world. He will come to take us home. It's, come to, it's coming. It's coming. With all indication, it's coming. He will come to take us home. That where he is, there we will be. Explain it fully. Don't put it half and think you are making, we are making a new thing. No. No. We understand. People understand. People understand. They will accept Jesus Christ today and say go to their job. And when that go happen, they, they get promoted too. But that does not mean that our children will not seek. That does not mean that they will not pay bills. We understand that. But in all these things, God will see us through. He will help us. 
He will enable you. We will be able to do all things through Christ that strengthens us. Our spiritual life will be able to absorb the problems that this world brings. Our spiritual antennas will be able to design when to pray and how to pray. And believe that God will take out the problem we, we, are, we, we tabulate, we, we petition to him according to his will. Not our will. In Jesus' name we pray. Open your mouth and say, Father, attend to me according to your will, Lord. Attend to my knees. Attend to my knees. I don't know what you are going through. Jesus is a problem solver. He turned water into wine. A Zambo, for you to know. He healed the leper. E.G., for you to know. He raised doctors alive. A Zambo, you to know. He brings Lazarus back to life. So that you will know that he, he is able to do all things. He took the chief to heaven. He said, today you will be with me in paradise so that we, you and I will know he is able to do all things. With him, nothing is impossible. With Christ, nothing is impossible. With God, for with God, nothing is impossible. I preach it, I will preach it evermore. With God, all things are possible. Come to him. Come to him. Come to him. Nation, come to him. People, come to him. Home, come to him. Family, come to him. Come to him. Come to him. He will not cast you out. He is ready to be your father. What a friend we find in Jesus. What a friend we have found in him. The one that died for we to live. No other friend will do that for you. He died for the sinner. He died for the Jews. He died for the Gentile. He died for the Greek. He died for all to live. What else will he not do? What else can he not do? Father, we come to you today. We ask, oh God, open our eyes to understand your way. Help us, oh God, you are a problem solver. We commit the problems of the nation to you. We commit our personal problems, physical problems, spiritual problems to you. Meet us at the knees of our issues according to the will of the Father. Jesus himself was faced with problem. He said, Father, let that will be done. But guess what? After that, all power was given to him. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. We are going to pray against every spirit that is fighting against the Christendom. Every spirit that devil have unleashed. Spirit taking preeminence taking authority, taking the word of God out of concept, trying to win the battle for the devil. Let the knowledge of the word of God cover the whole sea as the water covers the, cover the whole earth as the water covers the sea. Open your mouth and pray. That is scripture. Let the knowledge of the word of God, please, not the one that I teach, not the one that they teach, them teach, all of them, let the knowledge of the Abba from heaven, Jehovah Rapha, knowledge from our Lord Jesus Christ, deep into our hearts, that we will understand clearly, not waiting for man, not the moving those here and poor. The Bible says that they read the scripture, they start the scripture, and in them they find what is written. It was good for them. Father, open our understanding. Let your knowledge cover the earth as the water covers the sea. Your knowledge, O oh God. Your knowledge, O oh God. He said, buy it and send it to Father God. Let your wisdom follow us. Especially the believers. O oh Lord, that we will not be told as we. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I don't know what you are facing today, but I am totally convinced that our God is not willing that you remain in that pain and in that trouble. If you believe today, if you have faith today, why not you pray and ask God to remove that issue? Why not you pray today? 
Brother, pray. Sister, pray. Pray. Pray to God. Pray to the, That's why we pray. We pray because we believe in Jesus. We pray because we pray in his name. He say, in my name, ask anything in my name. Have you asked? Have, no, have I not done it? Ask and it shall be given. Seek and it shall be, it sh it, you shall find. No, and it shall be open. Jesus said, he that to, up to now have you asked? Please, ask. You are a child. Whatever it is your, you think that is your challenge, ask. Open your mouth and pray. Ask God for something that you know and believe that he will do it with faith and confidence. Lord, we pray to you in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, pray. Open your heart, pray. Open your faith, pray to the Lord. The prayer of the righteous availed Lord. God answer prayer. If he answer prayer, then it's a problem solver. How we call, come to the Lord. Come and pray to him. Come to the Father. Come to the Father. Let that prayer come to God. Let that prayer come to God. Don't live here without calling on God on that issue. Don't live here. Don't, it's no man that solves problem. It's not that big man that uh, anointed. No matter the name before their name. No, it is God. Unto the Lord that answer prayer shall all flesh come. The scripture said, let us come to the Father. It's a time shall come that this mountain, people should not come to this mountain alone. But they shall serve the Lord, seek him in truth and in spirit. And they will come with a petition. He will hear them. Open your mouth and pray. That family, Lord, we intercede on their behalf. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let's intercede on behalf of our church and our churches today. Let's ask God to intervene in our affairs. Affairs of the church. He said, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. Let God intervene in the affairs of his church today. Let God take care of his church today. Let the church of God was great and not low, not, strong, not, 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 not down, become stronger, equipped by the word, empowered by the Holy Spirit. Let Holy Ghost play his role in his church. Open your mouth and pray. Intercede now. That's what you learn from Sunday school. Open your mouth and pray. Pray. Use the Christian liberty as a point of contact to all churches. God intervene. A physical project intervene, spiritual project intervene. Lord, take control. The project of prayer that it will not cease. The project of believing in Christ that it will not cease. The, 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 the project of the hope, the hope of the coming of Christ, that it will not go down. That hope will not go down. Because when we lost that hope, we are to all men most miserable. I pray that will never happen in Jesus' name. Lord, we ask, we commit your church to you. Take control, Lord. Take control of what Jesus has built. Let it not go down. Let it be stronger. He said, greater things we will do than what I've done. Father, we pray this morning for your church. Let it be stronger. The project of the church before you, please God, spiritual project. Meet the church at their name, the church of Jesus. The church of Jesus will grow strong. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, we come to you this precious day. We ask, oh God, our cares, our burdens, we pour unto you. Jesus will believe in you. In you there is power. In you there is power. In you there is power. Power to save. Power to heal. Power to deliver. Power to destroy the works of the enemy. Oh Lord, activate in the name of Jesus. Every works of the enemy that have become a tongue in our flesh. Let them be consumed by fire in the name of Jesus. Every works that the devil and his agent have sown to become a tongue of flesh. To us and to the body of Christ. Father, consume by fire. In the name of Jesus. Put an end to the works of evil and our enemies. Father, give us power to overcome every temptation. Amen. Give us power to overcome the problem of this world. In the name of Jesus. Be with us every day, every time. 
Make us overcomer in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because your promise that we, you have overcome the world and we are in you, we are overcomer in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for that family. Let your grace abide. Amen. Let your mercy abide. Amen. Let your peace abide. Amen. Not as the world give, but as Jesus give. Let them know peace in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let them be identified with peace in the name of Jesus. Amen. So that marriage, let there be peace. Amen. To so that child education, to so that child um, document in this country, let your peace bring miracle in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, do what no man can do. Amen. We don't come to pastor. We don't come to preacher. Jesus, we have come to you. Amen. No one that come to you that you cast out no. because of you are incapable. Yes. Lord, but the Bible told me with God, all things are possible. Yes. Father, make all things possible for us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Comfort us with your power. Amen. And above all, we ask that when you will come, we will reign with you in the name of Jesus. Amen. We will not miss rapture in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, thank you, Father, for your work. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Amen. The hand of God will continue to be higher and higher and higher in you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We will not go down in the name of Jesus. In Christ, we will not go down. Physically, we will not go down. Morally, we will not go down in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Let's listen to the following announcement. We thank God for the just. So I just concluded the liberation conference last week. We were blessed. Bless the name of the Lord. And I uh, want to thank everybody who were here throughout the program. And the people that are not here too, we pray that the Lord will continually be with you. And we extend the blessing to you too in the mighty name of Jesus. All our visitors that came last week, let us call them. Uh, if you need their number, you can ask me. Um, I will give it to you. Then you can call them to visit them. Also, all church activities, the weekly activities remain the same. Tuesday, 6 p.m., teaching time with Reverend John. Wednesday, 7 p.m., online prayer. And uh, Friday, 6 p.m., prayer team. Also, night vigil on Friday, October 25th, this month. It's 12 a.m. to 2 a.m. You have never been there. We want to see you there. Also, like we announced last week, Sister Susan and Brother Chigozi are bringing their child for the education next week, Sunday, on the 13th. May the Lord help us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Also, we have a program here on the 26th and 27th. On the 20, that weekend is going to be our F weekend. On the 26th, we will meet for 5K work. We are going to give us details later this week. Also, on the 27th is our F talk here in the church. Let us come and invite people here. May the Lord bless us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. If there is any other announcement, we will bring it to our ears. It's offering time. Bless time. Offering time. Bless offering time. If you have an offering here, you have your tithe, you have your donation, you have anything you have here, let's package it and let's pray and raise it up and pray to it. Let us pray. Say whatever you want to say to your offering. If you have your offering, if you do not have your offering, pray that the Lord should bless you. Let us pray. Pray, pray, pray. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen.
All I am is given to me by my God. All I am is given to me by my God. All I am is given to me by my God. Everything I am is given to me by my God. All I am. There is none. Do we have any anniversary in our midst? Anybody doing anniversary? 50 years you have been in this country, this, this month. <laughs> or your wedding anniversary. If there is none. Dickie, anybody type with testimony? Okay, if there is none, then we are going to do a general thanksgiving in this form. We are going to rise up. We are going to shout a seven big hallelujah. Seven big hallelujahs. Are we ready? We have cake at the back. They will cut it for us. Since we have any, we have no, uh, what do you call it? October baby. Are we ready? Are the kids? What? Okay, let's shout hallelujah. Oh, okay, you mean we should call the cake? Oh, okay. Okay, let's see that. Let, let's see that. So it's because of both that we moved the liberation conference to September. Okay. Okay, let's sit down, please. Who is going to represent the church? Sister Solis? Sister Marian and Brother Desiree. Come and represent the church. Come to call the cake now. And Sister Debola. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Anybody who wants to represent the church can come. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. May the good Lord bless 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 you always. May the good Lord bless you. Okay, we are going to say, what do we say? Sister Michelle, joy or peace. <laughs> we are going to spell hallelujah. Give me H. H. A. L L E L Hallelujah. U U Y A A Hallelujah. Happy birthday. 
invited to the church. Begin the new thing in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's sit down and let's do the general thanksgiving. Let us rise up. We shout seven big hallelujah. Seven big hallelujah. Everybody, let's be on our feet. Ready?